Hi, my name is David Sanchez. I'm a saxophone player, composer and for the SF Jazz Collective. Today, I would like to talk about the importance of sound and do a breakdown of my process, you know, as a, as a saxophone player. The instrument, in my opinion, they should really reflect the human voice. We have all these elements that they come together, you know, which is the setup. You have the reed, the mouthpiece opening, then the instrument. If we don't control air, <laughs> that whole is going to be irrelevant, really. The concept of breathing is the most important part of producing a sound. Because that's where everything starts. Without even playing one note, you fill yourself with air. You're mindful of air and then you put that air into the instrument. Breathing has a rhythm and that's going to definitely impact our sound. Some of my uh, early exercises to develop the sound were, were based on fifths, you know, very simple. Basically one, five, back to one. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of that, you know, in the instrument as well. I strongly suggest for you to start off with the metronome. It's possible in 40 or, or, or not, not faster than that. Do everything mezzo piano. Start from there and you start building up. Just like going to the gym. I'm gonna go chromatic down, go down, down chromatically from C. and so on going down. This exercise will help you to play with the full sound. Then you have to be creative. And that's when you put the songs, you know, songs that, you know, they, 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 they resonate to you, you know, they, they mean, they're meaningful to you. And you, you know what, I'm gonna use the exercises with the song. And then you, you challenge yourself and, and, and turn on your friend, your best friend, metronome. Sometimes I use the same reference and I just play a tune, the beginning of a song. For instance, and using the same tempo. It could be anything. Another example. Choose some intervals that you kind of want to work on and then you make an association with the, with the exercise that is fundamental. Only now your mindset is different because you're going to be approaching it as, no, I'm playing a song. I'm not doing long tones in here. I'm actually playing. That would be the ultimate goal, uh, to have our own sound. And, and then when you hear whatever, three, four, five notes, it's like, ah, this is Dexter Gordon. That's, that's John Coltrane. That's Charlie Parker. That's Lester Young. You know, the voice is the most important part because ultimately you can, we can run away from that. When you get a mouthpiece that is, oh, this is gonna make me sound like Train. Oh, this is gonna make me sound like Joe Henderson. And you know what's gonna happen? In a few weeks, you're gonna come back to play sound like yourself. Hey everyone, Terrence Blanchard here. Thanks for watching this video. If you dug it, be sure to give it a like or leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got lots more videos coming out soon. Last note, 
If you want to watch some amazing concerts filmed at our venue, head over to our website and check out SF Jazz at Home. Thanks for your support and stay tuned.